everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. I just wanted to pop on and say Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a great, great day. I hope you and all your hearts in your life realize how important each other are. Okay, so I want to show you what I actually got to make for Valentine's Day. I think I showed you what I gave my granddaughters, but I actually made this for my husband. Um, this is the paper from the Dapper Collection. I cut the Johnny D out on my Cricut, and then I had made these in previous videos, but he talks like Donald Duck, and he does such a great job on it, so I wanted to include Donald Duck. It's not a traveler's notebook. It's a, it's, it's almost like a traveler's notebook, but kind of got the idea from Sparkling Shar. I know you've heard me talk about her, but this is uh, a spin on her game book. So you open this up, and I put the pocket from Dollar Tree, um, Target, and I just put the a few journaling cards. The good life, stay tuned. Make today is awesome. So awesome yesterday gets jealous. Love that. So, like I said, this is from the Dapper Collection. And then you saw the easel card that I made. So he got the easel card. He got one of the easel cards. And then I gave him I gave him a shaker. Yes, I did. That says love. Can you see that? Yay, shaker that says love. I like to put confetti in mine. And then his page, um, I just, I laminated it, but I put my handwriting on it, and on the back, I put a picture of us. And underneath it says, I love you, I love us. And I gave him a mechanical pencil. And then I gave him a word search. Like I said, this is what Sparkling Shar did um, as little gifts for people. And I actually took his Sudoku. <laughs> Don't laugh. I took his Sudoku because I was tired of looking at it. So it's partially done. And he's like, you gave me my book back? And I'm like, yeah, I said, because it goes with the book. But I gave you a new one. And we were laughing. So, because I, I just think that it's a neater way to have your books. And he does use these books. And then, you know how we all make the notepad holder? Well, I stuck a notepad in here for him. So if you knew my husband, he writes down notes on these little itsy bits of pieces of paper. And then he's like, uh, did you see my little note? I'm like, can't you write it on a big piece of paper? So this is what I made for him. And I have to tell you, the first thing out of his mouth was, oh my God, it's all in one place so that when we go away, I just have to grab this. And I was like, oh, I nailed it. I nailed it. So I was very happy about this. But then I decided to make one for my sister. Um, my oldest son dropped off a bouquet of flowers for me and my sister yesterday with a beautiful card telling me how appreciative he is. And it just made my day. So I said, you know what, let me make something for my sister also because she lives on our property. Her house is down the, at the end of my driveway. Um, yeah, we have our own little community here, and my son is literally a half a mile from my door um, on his property. So this is from my sister. Same take as for John. Um, but she likes to read, so I gave her the bookmark that says, I love books. And I stuck that in here. And then I just added a cute little ephemera. And then these were the ones that I got at um, Joanne Fabric the other day. And then I gave her a card also. I didn't stick a notebook in the back of this one, a notepad, because um, I gave her a magnetic holder. And then, oh, that's coming off. I think I need to get that while you're here. Let me get my score tape. Because if I don't do it now, I won't remember to do it. I can fix 
it. I have to fix it. Um, if I don't do it now, I'll forget. But now I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> and she likes mermaids, so I thought that that was pretty cool for her. So when my husband goes down to let her puppy dogs out at lunchtime, he'll leave this on her table for her. And I did, I did my, uh, I love to make these. I take the flower from the Dollar Tree and then I wrap it in uh, around the pencil so that you always have a little pencil. Okay, that's fixed. And then in her book, like I said, she oh, she got a Sudoku, and then I gave her a bookmark. But I didn't add a pad to the back because I had given everybody the pad books for Easter last year. So I thought, how cute is this? So that's what my sister's getting and Johnny D got. Um, so remember the other day I got these? I got these at um, Joanne Fabric. Well, I haven't found a place to store them, but then I put all my Disney cans, my, my you know, the little cotton swab boxes, the tins, I keep them all here because I have a little collection of them. So I decided to take these out and put these in here, right? And now I know where they are. And if I can't remember where they are, you guys can remind me. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna continue doing. All my little, um... in fact, here we go. Let's do this one. These can go in there. Uh, those will be the tabs. And I open this one. So I'll use this one for the paper clips, if it would come off. And this way I can use them. So then when I go to look for things, I just have to open up these little containers and I'll have a, an array or assortment of, and I have that one too. These are the magnetic ones. I might have to upcycle those. Look at how cute that is. These are so easy to make. I'm gonna have to do do one of these. I think I'm gonna have to try to do that. So I'll put these in Olaf, the magnetic ones. See, never used them. I just collected them. And they'll go in there. Yay! Organization in my little bin. Alright, well. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a message. I'd love to, to talk back and forth with you. If there's something that you'd like to see, give me a shout out. All right, guys, have a happy Valentine's Day. See you real soon. Bye.